All right, welcome back to the BST podcast. We have Jerry Hansen with the High Plains Late Model Online. Thank you, Jerry, for giving us your time today. What's going on, Jerry? Uh, just plugging away and uh, still working on the season uh, coming up ahead of us. Uh, everything's looking to, to be a fantastic year for us, uh, despite current situations, um, which we'll continue to, to kind of follow and monitor that. The nice thing about our schedule is I believe it's going to fall in place after the worst of this is over uh, with us starting uh, June uh, 6th. What is it? Yeah, June. Uh, M- Memorial Weekend. Oh, yeah, you guys do have one. At, uh, Lincoln County before. Raceway yep. for a three day, two day yep. show with a one night practice up there. Yep. So, and we, we just got off the phone with Matt Firm out there at Holyoke, and I was telling him this kind of the same thing. For the first time ever, we started our season a lot later. Uh, the 29th and 30th, of course, um, you know, is the latest start that we've ever had. So, ironically, that's played into our hands pretty well. So, uh, you'll essentially be doing that same thing. Um, yes. Your schedule, you, you added a couple. You added um, Lincoln County, as as you mentioned. Have, yeah, have you... we, uh, we worked uh, along with you and, and Butch to put this together in the off season. Um, I, I think we've got a good mix. Um, we're racing a lot of two-day shows and primarily, mostly, every third weekend for us. Um, again, our season opener was going to be I-76, uh, standalone on that uh, first June. weekend of June, yeah. 5th or 6th, like you were talking. Um, again, we, we continue to go back to Phillips County Raceway, El Paso County Raceway. Um, we picked up Lincoln again this year. Um, we've got four new tracks this year. Um, another local would be Honor Speedway. Uh, How about Aztec? We, you guys are going down to Aztec. Uh, Right. We have a two-day show down at Aztec, a two-day show in Oberlin Speedway, Oberlin, Kansas, and, then, and a two-day show at uh, Sweetwater yeah, Speedway up in Rock Springs. So so we've got eight different tracks this year with a total of 17 races. So uh, I think the drivers are all excited. Um, they're still, you know, they monitor this situation that we're dealt with this year but they're all still working on their cars and getting them ready and 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 excited to get our season started here in 2020 well that's one of the main reasons we're doing this podcast and keeping up uh with everybody i wish i had the answers just like you do just like everybody does but there's a lot of unforeseens that we're dealing with that we've never dealt with obviously Mm -hmm. and since the beginning of time that i'm concerned with i mean this is this is pretty crazy times right now yes it is the reality is it's temporary somewhat uh i do believe it will get better Uh, I'm going to stay on the positive note, I think, like you are. And I believe, like a lot of racers are, we're going to be positive and realize there's going to be a race season. It may be affected for the people that are trying to race in April. I think April's done. Uh, I'm glad to say that we only have one race in the end of April at El Paso, if we can uh, pull that one off, and that's what we're looking to do. But uh, other than that, uh, we've got to just kind of go by what we hear and see on a daily basis. And uh, I... I, like I said, I think the world is going to be back to normal somewhat. Uh, and yes. in the meantime, we need these racers to realize they got to finish their cars, work on their cars, don't sell their cars, and get ready yes. to race. Because there will be a 2020 racing season, in my opinion. And obviously, that's yes, just my opinion. But, uh, yes, there will be. Yep. And, and so I'm glad, I'm glad you're on the same boat that we're on. And uh, that means we're going full steam ahead. Yeah. I, I, you guys got a great schedule. Uh, I was happy to work with you on that, put together as much as that as we could. Obviously, the dates uh, within Colorado work within our Colorado Alliance, which means, you know, when you're racing at 76, Phillips County's not racing or uh, El Paso's not racing. And when you're at El Paso, obviously the same thing. So I believe we can get you the most amount of cars and the most amount of people to your events that way. 
and then I hope you guys have a successful time going out of state per se and somewhat of that traveling deal. That's always fun. Everybody likes to travel. Everybody likes to think through the world of outlaws and can hit all those joints. And I think you're, you're doing it to where there's not too many, but yet they're, they should be able to pull this off successfully, hopefully as a group. And when I say that as a group, are you still on the 15 to 20 number? That's kind of what I've always looked at you as. Uh, I know it got a little less there towards the end of the year, but where do you think you're at number-wise this um, year? Car count. I, I, I think overall for a season average, we should be hitting that 18 car mark <clears throat> throughout most of the year. Obviously, we're, we're going to hit a few tracks where um, – we're projected uh, to possibly have maybe upwards of 30. Um, and we're still working on that to, to get all those cars to, to come over to those events. But overall, I, I would say 15 to 20, uh, pretty strong 18 car count here locally for the, the Colorado tracks. Um, we continue to work with with uh, marketing partners and, and what have you to continue to build some of these events and, and make them a little more special than, than just a typical uh, race weekend. Um, on, on a couple of notes on that, um, we have come to an agreement with Hoosier and High Plains will be its own distribution uh, for the late model uh, series tires um, along with that uh, HPLMS has some really great deals uh, for performance bodies and that is through a local dealer here um, pretty much it, it strictly goes to to the high planes or the, the late model uh, series right now nice. um, and again just continuing to to work with marketing partners and, and what have you and get everything finalized um i'm just super excited um the tires um once i place an order on the tires i'll have them a week to 10 days following that this still allows guys to to prep them and and do some stuff to the tires because again we're, we have not yet went to the no touch tire in our series mm -hmm. and then uh when i was speaking with hoosier as well and talking about this and what you're doing there they're gonna kick back a little bit towards your point fund correct on the on the season yes yeah, so. they're, they're working with me and and i've got a couple other marketing partners uh that we are working on a points fund um right now it's kind of looking could be in the neighborhood uh, four or five thousand dollars initially. That's great. Um, and then some other things added into that, which again really helps us out this year with some of our travel dates um, being out of state. You know, the point funds we we talked last year or last week at Mike Hathaway's uh, trade show. We had him on, of course, and uh, he's helping out helping me out tremendously with the sprint cars and with that ASCS and. Uh, We've decided, you know, to do what we can to build a point fund there. As of right now, we got a $7,500 point fund, and it's good to see that these people, such as yourself and uh, the sprint cars and putting together those point funds because it reminds me of that old school racing, but especially for the travelers like your series and the sprint cars per se, to keep them racing and keep them going to each event. And yes. when you're talking about going to Aztec, to Rock Springs, to obviously the Colorado tracks, and then to North Platte, you got to give them a reason to go to travel all of those and, and stay in the mix. And that point fund, I believe, does that. So that's good to see that you're doing that. I hope you can uh, keep that going and increase that as much as possible because I, I do believe that's going to help you get all 18, 20, whatever that number is, to travel with you to all the shows. Yes, exactly. And, and, and again, couldn't do it without the marketing partners uh, stepping up with that, uh, leading the way kind of Hoosier and, and some others that, I, I can't mention just yet. We're still in the final stages of them. Um, but as well as, as local marketing partners with Buckeye Welding, Classic Heating and Air Conditioning, um, A Better Floor, um, 
paradise interior finishes, PAD construction, um, as well as Aspen View Lodge. Um, kind of hit on that. Really bummed that we had to pull the uh, awards banquet for the 2019 season here coming up uh, April uh, 3rd and 4th. But yeah, you're going to have it, that up in Steamboat, correct? Y- yes, yes. Yeah. We were looking at having that up there, and, and it was looking like a, a pretty good turnout for us, uh, sitting right around that 30 uh, head count mark for that. Yeah. Um, you're gonna so give out. It, you're gonna give out the awards then here yes, for I'll, last year I'll, coming out. I'll, I'll uh, uh, meet the the drivers individually um, <clears throat> and present them person to person the awards. Just kind of help minimize any contact or anything like that at this point. Um, season champion was uh, uh, Scott Simple. Um, and then uh, Rookie of the Year honors went to uh, uh, Greg Sharp. Nice. Um, top, top uh, the following top two, second, third, fourth, and fifth, uh, Brandon Lewis and uh, Greg Sharp. Um, ironically, um, doesn't matter how I break it down, um, they're still tied for second place. The, yeah. That points battle between those two throughout the year was just that close. Um, so we actually have two second place awards this year. Um, third place, uh, Albert Sack. And uh, along with that, he's got a uh, uh, another uh, award coming to him for uh, being the only driver to finish top five in points all three seasons that we've existed so far. That's pretty impressive, um, actually. That's pretty uh, good. So, and then uh, fourth place was uh, uh, Cody Cantwine. And, and again, he is also getting an honorary Rookie of the Year award um, due to the fact that he has never raced any, any car. And, and to step in and jump right into the late models and, and finish where he did in points and what have you, I think that says a lot to, to that young man there. Um, and then I've got uh, top five finisher, uh, Maria Hankins, which, uh, again, is, is uh, receiving another award as well. Um, she is the only driver to start every main event for the last three consecutive years. She's been a huge um, supporter of you for sure. And I, I've noticed yes. that and that, that's good. I like to see uh, the women in racing, obviously with Laney that we push and Peyton along with yeah. everybody. So women in racing is great. So is youth in racing, um, you know, but it, Jerry, it's great to see what you're putting together. I uh, can't thank you enough for what you do with the late models and supporting that deal. Uh, I want to thank you for having you on today. Uh, I'm glad to see that you haven't thrown in the towel and uh, decided to call it a season like some people and that you're ready to go for 2020 full steam ahead just as scheduled, correct? Yes, we're we're excited and and, uh, just counting down the days. I mean, um, it won't be long. It it, won't be long. Like I said, everybody everybody get your cars ready. That's all all I can emphasize. Um, Keep plugging away on your cars. should Colorado go to a, a uh, lockdown type situation, I, I think that's going to help a lot of the drivers because that's going to give them the time to really focus on the car and, and get it finished up. I kind of um, think we're in it right as we speak. Uh, I think they, I think our governor's pretty well put us on the, I guess, a yeah. lockdown if you want to call it or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, very, and, and, various aspects, but. Um, I got, know, it, it, it's just a lot of work between I got Rod uh, in the shop right now working on my stuff. So as soon as we're done with know, this, that's where we're going back working on the race car. So it, I know what you're, exactly. I know what you're saying. Uh, while exactly. you're at home, get, stay home, get your race cars ready and, uh, get your yeah, family yes. ready and get ready and, to hit uh, the road. You know, everybody just, uh, take a minute and, and, and stay healthy, be conscientious of, of what's going on around us. And, uh, let's get geared up for, for 2020. I mean, 
uh, Memorial Weekend will be here, uh, right. blink of an eye. Right. All right, Jerry, thanks again, and we'll be no seeing you Thank soon you. at a racetrack nearby. Yes, All right, bye. Have a good day.